Hi everyone, so I've got another haul for you today. As usual, I will be putting time timestamps in the description below so you can skip around and watch whatever shops you want to watch. And let's get into it. So I'm starting off with this rather chunky order from Coffee Doodles Co. It's been a very long time since I've ordered from her shop, so obviously some orders stacked up. I didn't even get everything I wanted. I left some stuff in there because it was from a fandom that I wasn't quite yet a part of, like I want to be, but I have to actually read the books first, so you probably know what I'm talking about if you know about her shop. But um, yeah, I'm trying not to just dive head into things that I don't even know if I'm going to like. Try to avoid that. So I got everything else that I wanted, including a kind of a duplicate, which I feel really stupid about, but that's what happens when you don't check things closely before buying. So this was part of her Black Friday sales event which started the very beginning of black friday week so this haul is going to kind of kick off my black friday spending although i think there's going to be probably a couple things that were from before black friday but um yeah so this is definitely from the black friday event which shipped really fast because it is like actually black friday right now that i'm filming this so yeah, she was on top of it. I think she shipped the same day that I placed the order, which is insane. So good for her. Um, so this is the little freebie package that came with the order. So I don't know what's in here. I'm excited. Let's find out about this. Let's see what we got. We got a lot of goodies in here, including a little die cut that is trying to cause some trouble with the cello. So we have the little die cut of the castle with a bow. Very interesting. I'm guessing a lot of this is going to be Disney themed. So we have these little Disney flat lays, which are actually, I think, kind of reading themed. So yeah, there's a, an open book and then a photo of the castle behind it. So I guess that's like Disney reading, which is very cool. So this is a very unique style of flat lay that looks like it's done completely with clip art. So that's kind of unusual. Um, then we have two little sampler sheets right here with, um, very neat. So we have two full boxes here. This one is more generic themed with makeup and then this one is clearly Disney themed with Disney. I know that, um, I know that scene, that is Main Street, and that is from a very popular set of Disney clip art. I think I have a kit with that art in it. But um, these are very interestingly formatted freebies, and that you get one full box, but then you also get these two different sized boxes of washi that are very confusing to me. It's like, that's not a typical washi size. Like, that's kind of enormous. It's like, it's like a whole washi half box. I'm so curious what that is meant to be used for. But then you get a lot of nice appointment labels and mini checklists. So those are the two small freebies. Here is the, man, they just, they just keep coming. Here is the gorgeous journaling card, which is made of like completely glitter paper right here. It's one of those papers where it's like glitter is built into the paper. So it is a storybook with the castle coming out of it, and it says Once Upon a Time. Very intriguing paper. I've never seen that in a journaling card before, so that's very neat. Then we have this whole other double page freebie. Maybe because I placed an order over $100 that I'm getting all these freebies. Because they just don't stop coming. So this looks like an entire... Yeah, this is like half of a kit right here. So this is the entire full box page. So you get eight pages of full boxes right here. And it is reading themed, very generic reading themed. I like colors of Kindle because I do a lot of reading with my Kindle and with physical books. So both are represented here. Got your weekend banner, habit trackers. I like the color scheme here. It's very kind of dark and muted. I love that. And then here you have washi, bottom washi, and then date covers and appointment labels. I like this because this is like almost all the elements you would need um, to have the skeleton of a kit. Um, the only thing that would really be missing is um, deco, if you wanted to have deco. But if you wanted to 
pull in other elements left over from other kits, like quarter boxes and half boxes, and, um, and glitter headers and stuff. You could easily do that, but it would be harder to replicate, or to, I guess to find bottom washi or date covers elsewhere. So I like how that is included. Of course, these you also blend from other kits as well, but it's nice that she found space to add them. So this is, yeah, this is almost an entire skeleton of a kit, which is, which means it's going to be a lot easier for me to use. Um, and then here is the little freebie that goes along with that. So we have some washi segmented here. Um, and then you have a little checkbox here, and then a bunch of flags. These are less important to me in a kit. None of these things I would really necessarily have to pull in, but I do like it. Um, yeah, a bunch of other random little freebies here. And then these um, books, full boxes. These look like fashion girls added on to something. They do not look like they're meant to go with this kit. They actually look more like they're meant to go with this. That's very interesting. I may have to try to pull that into another kit and kind of incorporate that. But anyway, so many options and possibilities here with this set of freebies. So very generous for all that. And now let's get into the actual order. So I'm gonna um, probably open up and pull out one of these so I can show you the format and the rest I will just kind of talk about as I tend to do. I think I did get the full kit size if I'm not mistaken. It's really hard to keep track of which shops I'm doing that with these days. And I know that I had just had the invoice and I've just put it somewhere so I don't know, but this looks like a full kit to me. I guess it will become obvious as I go through it. Um, but this is the kit Asleep by Midnight. So it's like kind of vaguely Cinderella themed, but not too Cinderella themed, and it's also very purple instead of very blue. And I just, for some reason, I really love that color when dealing with like princess kits or princess elements. So I love the blue too, but I also love the purple. I love both of those colors a lot. So even though it doesn't scream Cinderella because it's not, it doesn't have the blue, you know, I still loved it enough to get it. And yeah, I just think it's a really interesting take on Cinderella. So you have the coach there, obviously. You have the book, which is kind of interesting in that when people think of Cinderella, they don't really think of it coming from a book first, although it was a story um, originally. And then I think a lot of her kits just include books anyway. But um, we have this really beautiful dress right here, which is also not Cinderella's dress, but it is a gorgeous dress all the same. We have a little mask and high heels, the castle scene. I'm guessing that's the same castle as this. It all kind of goes together. Very interesting. I'm trying to see where else that castle is. I think that's mainly it. And then the staircase right here. Very pretty. I love the like the cloudy effect of it all. It's very ethereal. Ethereal? Ethereal? How do you say that? Please let me know how to say that. Um, and then here is the second page with our habit trackers. We'll do some appointment labels, lots of flags, some cattle icons, um, sidebar trackers, flag checklists. Yeah, this definitely looks like the full kit. So then we have a bunch of half boxes, more appointment labels, date covers, and fancy labels, which I love. I think this would be pretty easy to do some white space planning with. Um, here we have some washi strips right here. Got plenty of those. Bottom washi right here. Yeah, this must be the full kit because there is an entire page of little things and headers. So I don't really use a ton of the headers except for dinner and the sidebar and the little things which I tend to use um, when I do some white space planning. I don't tend to use those at all when I do white space planning. And then the page of checklists, full box checklists which I don't really use but there are um, fancy labels, more of those which I love to use. Um, this is really neat so for her ninth full box 
she actually has formatted it so that you can write inside of it, which is really interesting to me. It would also make for a good quote box if there was a quote inside, which there isn't, but you could potentially use a quote foil overlay sticker on that. Yeah, I would be kind of hesitant to write in it. I feel like it would just ruin the box with my bad writing. Um, then we have a lot more random pages of, um, not pages, random stickers that I guess are supposed to be like washy kind of. And then flags, so it would be hard to find a use for these, I think. And then circle icons right here. So that's where you get two, two types of icons. In this last page, you get Ooh, more fancy labels and quarter boxes, which are so useful. And then these, I guess these are header size, and I love the blank headers because you can use these with um, like confetti foil overlay tapes, which would, or like even just other kinds of foil overlay tapes that aren't necessarily confetti, because confetti goes well over glitter headers, but um, a lot of other kinds do not, because you would kind of lose the design. Like with bow headers, I would not put a bow header overlay tape over a glitter header. I've never done it before, but I would prefer not to. I'd prefer to put it over a plain one like this. So that's why these are really good, because I do have a lot of those tapes that I want to use. So then you get deco, which I'm really pleased about, and then date dots, which is also really cool. So yeah, this is a very full kit. So full, in fact, that there's a lot of stickers in here I don't think I would use, but I would try to find uses for them elsewhere. And then I did throw in the glitter headers on the side of that. So there you go, everything you need in this a Sleep by Midnight kit. Um, you know, it's funny, Sleep by Midnight, that sounds like, sounds like somebody used, used that title, that kit title, for a New Year's kit. Because you know how you're supposed to stay up till midnight, but some people don't, and they fall asleep before midnight, so that's like a Sleep by Midnight, right? I feel like somebody's used that before. Somewhere, somebody somewhere. So this next one is a Spring Home. This is really pretty. I've seen this art a lot of, not a lot of other places, but a few. Um, I think a lot of shops are doing a similar style with how they're putting together this art. But um, I think her full kits were pretty cheap. So I just decided to get it from her shop. So I really like this. It's very kind of generic. It's a good anytime kit, not even necessarily for spring. Although it's called Spring Home because it's got, you know, nice spring colors, but, you know, it's got hot drinks here and candles and that's very fall, so, you know, theoretically you could use it for fall too, maybe early fall, given that that is a short sleeve out, uh, shirt and not a long sleeve. But yeah, it's just a really nice interior here and I really like the colors, so it just seemed like a really good anytime kit and I don't have a ton of those on hand, especially not spring, I have like maybe one spring anytime kit, so just wanted to kind of add to my collection on that. I really like this clip art style as well. It's very nice. So next we have this kit called Squeeze. It is a lemonade or lemon slash sunflower themed kit. I love, I love really bright yellow kits with lemons or sunflowers or bees. Um, I think I actually may have one other from Coffee Digital's Code that's themed on I think it was themed on bees, if I'm not mistaken. But, um, yeah, I just really like yellow in kits when it's themed like this. Um, and this one was really pretty. There were a few full boxes that really got me. I love this really detailed planner setup right here. And then the Erin Contron, of course, which is mine. It looks like there's a hobo in there, too, which is really funny. And then you have the tea, because lemon tea, lemon in your tea is a really common thing. And then of course the cat really got me too. I you know I probably bought this kit entirely for the cat. And then the little macarons there. Just yeah, just I'm I'm kind of loving all of this. It's like a really simply designed kit, but I you know it just stood out to me enough to the point where I just had to throw it in. And I really like this bright yellow. It just makes me really happy. And this is looks looks like a. Is that an old or a new style banner? I'm not really sure about the weekend banner because this is the other style of weekend banner. I feel like this is an older kit, but then I also feel like these next ones are newer kits. So they, and they are very varied in their weekend banner style. So I'm not really sure what her reasoning is behind that, but 
I don't care. I like both styles a lot. I like this one a little bit better, but I like both styles, so I don't mind. I'm curious, like, if anything else in the format is different. Uh, I don't know. So, it looks like this may have... Oh, this is exclusive art, so that's really cool. We can't find this anywhere else. So that's very special. Oh, but you know what? I'm going to talk about that more in the next kit. So this looks like when she was doing full page um, glitter headers. Because you get, honestly, that looks... I was going to say it looks like double the size glitter headers, but it's not. Because these are washy down here, which really kind of sucks. Because I'm more likely to use headers than to use glitter headers than glitter washy. Like, that kind of makes it useless to me, but... I have been known to use washi like this as headers before, so maybe I'll just cut the big one in half and then use the rest as different sizes of washi. Then you get more fancy labels, which I love. So yeah, I guess this may have been an old style when she did the whole page of glitter headers. And here are the fashion girls that go with that. She's very pretty. And in the little field of sunflowers. I love that shirt. I have a couple shirts that do crisscrossy stuff on the front like that. It's very nice. So that is the kit squeeze. And I'm, I was going to say, I think she uses exclusive art when she's using art that she's drawn herself. Although with some, I think she sold it to other people. That's interesting because this looks like very familiar to me, this winter scene. I've seen, yeah, I've seen this art used in many, many, many other shops, but yet it says exclusive art. So I know that she's drawn the art, but I don't think it's exclusive that only she can use it. I think she sold it to a lot of other people. So maybe that was a mistake. I don't know. It's very interesting to me. But, um, so yeah, like I said, this is a very cool winter, um, theme that I've seen in a lot of other shops, but I th think it shows, sorry, I keep dropping the camera, but yeah, this one was the best in my opinion, so I chose this one. I like that little winter stair scene right there, the cupcake, of course, the cozy bed, the bag, that box is arranged very nicely, of course, the little animal. It looks like a fox, honestly, so I'm just going to pretend that's a fox. And then I love this kitchen scene right here. That could almost be a double box. It's that pretty and detailed. The marble countertop, and it's very white, yeah. That kitchen is kind of goals right there. So, uh, it's really interesting because I don't think a lot of other shops really went this direction in terms of color. This looks like very dark and very blue, so very dark blue compared to the other shops I've seen this art in. So it was very unique for that reason, and I kind of really liked it. Because you get a lot of bright blues and pastel blues for winter time, but not a lot of darks. But I really like this kind of dark teal theme going on. And I do need more just plain winter kits, or I'm a ton of those. Um, and it's called Winter Nights, by the way. And so this also has the old style glitter header sampler right there. And then here are the fashion girls with that. You get a nice gray hair option too, which I may actually go with based on the colors of the kit, very gray and dark teal. And then these last two are kind of an oopsie for me because it's the exact same kit, just in both color schemes that she has. When she does her own art, she tends to offer two color schemes. And this is both of them for the same kit. I did not check this before I bought it, and they both have different names, so it did not tip me off that they were the same kit. So now I have the same kit in two versions. I am going to use both, because it is Harry Potter themed, and I'm going to want to use both. Actually, you know what? They are slightly different in arrangement. That's, that's going to be fun to figure that out. So let's go over this one first, and they both have a different glitter, or um, weekend banners too, which is funny. But like this one says exclusive art, and this one doesn't, but like it's the same art. So that's why I'm kind of thinking maybe she's gotten a little confused about which um, which kids need that label or not. 
<laughs> so yeah, this is like a winter Harry Potter themed sort of art. It's kind of vaguely Harry Potter. It's got a crystal ball um, and a snowy owl and I guess a spell book, but like there's also crystals and a jar of like something that doesn't, you know, none of that really screams Harry Potter to me. Of course you have the Hogwarts castle, which I guess is pretty Harry Potter, but just taking the whole kit in as a whole, just glancing at it, does not seem too terribly Harry Potter. But I like how it's, it is in the subtle details. And I do like this really pale color scheme, like that's what I was saying, like with blues you get a lot of light pastel blues like that and not a lot of dark blues like that with winter kits, so. But I do like it, I love blue and pink like that, it always makes me want to use hollow with it. So I may use hollow foil with this one as well, we'll see. And then, oh it's called Winter Witch by the way, you do get the entire page of glitter headers right there. And then the fashion girls here, which again are not super Harry Potter, but that is another gorgeous outfit she's got. So that is the light version of the kit. This is the darker version, which is again very dark teal, kind of like that. So I'm guessing this had a lighter version too that I did not want. But um, yeah, so this is kind of similar, but not too terribly. Looks like the archway on this one is a little bit smaller and the moon is on the right side and there are snow f like dark snowflakes in front as is there with the crystal ball and the um, the castle scene and the moon is a lot smaller in the castle scene but a lot bigger there which is so interesting. I wonder like what her thinking was behind the moon placement of these two kids. Because, like, yeah, it's different there, it's different there. Very interesting. That's kind of the same. The owl's kind of the same, except for that extra snowflake. Same with the book scene over here with the extra snowflake. And yeah, the little crown thing just has different coloring. But yeah, so there are very slight differences between the two. But they, yeah, they both give off, like, very different vibes. So, like, I'm, you know, I'm digging that, like... That is fine for me to have both of these. So I'll just use one one year and one another year. Where? No fashion girls? So this has the, um, the small style glitter header. This is so weird. These feel like they were made at two completely different times, but yet they're like almost the same kit. Different style glitter. One of them is exclusive. Different style weekend banners. <laughs> what is going on? I feel like I'm going crazy. And no fashion goes with this, but yet fashion goes with that. She could have easily just recolored in this color scheme. I don't know what's going on here. It's so funny to me. <laughs> and like, you can't even really use one of these with that just to have the additional fashion girl for this kit. You can't, because they're a different color scheme. I mean, you could if you wanted to break out of the color scheme, but it just wouldn't look weird. So, I don't know. It's very interesting. If you have any insight on that, please let me know. Because I do feel like I'm going a bit crazy with that. But yeah, that is my pretty big order from Coffee Doodles Co. A lot of really pretty art that she's drawn herself and a ton of freebies. I highly suggest you check out her shop because if I recall correctly, it's a pretty good deal for the full size kits and everything you get with them. So yeah, that is it for this part of the haul. Let's go ahead and go into the next one. Okay, so for this next part, I am filming with natural lighting. So some of the edges may appear darker on the screen, but at least there is not a ton of glare. Um, unless I, you know, hold it up to the light. So I'm hoping it's going to work out a little better. It is like super overcast outside. Like the sky is just completely clouds. So that may be affecting it. But I also kind of think that's like one of the perfect um, weathers to film in. So I think it makes um, everything really clear on my desk. So I do have about 50 million orders to get through, but I think I have about an hour left of filming for this particular haul. So I'm just going to keep going until I hit that, you know, that 56 minute mark or whatever. 
and we'll see how much I can get through. Um, so yes, I haven't filmed a haul part in a very long time, so I have a ton um, that I can go through. This is not all of it, obviously. I have a stack to my right, but um, this, I just wanted to have something on the screen to show you kind of before we begin. So let's go in order. I am starting with this order from Pink Leaf Prints, which is my first order from her, I believe. I think it's my first official order from her, and I'm so excited because she's had a lot of stuff in her shop that I like, although I think I only started off with a few things. I've been eyeing this particular kit for a really long time. Um, I actually had this in my wish list long before Glam Planner did her take on the art, but I think I still ended up liking, um, ended up liking this version better. And I think it's actually really funny that I got this literally the day after, maybe two days after. No, it, it was two days after the day that I saw this in theaters. So obviously I'm about five months behind in planning right now. So you're not gonna see me use this kit for a really long time, but it's, it's just a funny coincidence that it came when it did. Um, so I am going to use this to mark this current week that I am filming and that you, I don't know, you're probably a couple weeks ago when this is going to be published. But, um, so this is definitely the kit I'm going to use. This is a really gorgeous Frozen 2 themed kit, but it's not just Frozen 2. It's like going to see the movie in theaters, which is what I actually did. I'm really happy that I made that decision because I wanted to see it sooner rather than later. With Disney movies, I will typically do that. Disney and Marvel movies. I'll typically go to see it in theaters. Um, so we have, of course, Elsa and Anna themed girls. They look a lot like Elsa and Anna, but they're kind of modernized, at least in their clothing. They are really pretty though. Then we have the little movie scene right here, the movie theater, um, popcorn and an icy and candy, I think. This little clothing fat lay with the Arendelle Ice Company, which is really cool. It's a little nod to Kristoff and his ice business, which he talked about a lot in the first movie. Um, and then a phone with an Olaf screen, um, I was gonna say screensaver, but it's the lock screen. And then some shoes right here and then movie tickets. So I just, I really like the way this is put together. I did also get the glitter headers to go with it in lovely shades of blue and purple. So let me just go through the rest of this kit since I haven't yet shown a Pink Leaf Prints kit layout on my channel yet. So here it is. We get some half boxes and quarter boxes right here. I'm hoping there's going to be some later in the kit because I may want to do no white space or some white space planning with this. We get a sidebar tracker, some bill do, some checklists, a couple habit trackers, which is nice, a weekend banner. A lot of kids these days only put one habit tracker. Here we have a ton of scripts and just functional little elements right here, like a planner and a laptop and all kinds of stuff over here. A bunch of push pins, which is really cute. A nice big movie marquee. I may actually have a movie marquee for Frozen 2 already, but I'm not sure. I may just um, use this one and try to find a foil overlay for that. I think silver would be okay, because like I'd probably want to use a blue, a blue foil wiggle with this kit, but. Um, I think I could get away with throwing in some silver. Then we have some flags. Okay, this is good. So we have a bunch of little things which are super duper useful when doing some white space planning. Although some of these say work, but I like it how the work part doesn't take up a ton of space. So if you have like a bigger like character sticker or icon, you could easily cover that up to use it for whatever you want. These headers I will not use a ton of, and it looks like the cutting is a little bit off. Like you can see the words kind of are butting up right up against the very top of that cut line. Um, unfortunately, I am not seeing a dinner's header, which is the only one I would ever use, but that is fine. I would probably just use the this week header in that instance. So here, this is really funny. So the bottom washi is popcorn. I would not have expected a close up of popcorn for the bottom washi, but that is what it is. And it's got like blue glitter in there, which is really cool. We have some extra glitter headers here and then two glitter strips um, or more than two. You get three different options for your glitter strips up here. So that's really fun. Um, what I may do because the bottom washi 
is pretty much the same design all throughout. I may just like cut it in order to use all three glitter strips for like the top half, just enough so I could have enough room to fit all of it, is what I may do. And this is really fun. The date covers are like the little movie marquee kind of style right there. So that kind of matches that part a little bit. So that's really unique. And then we have some more boxes. So there's, there's some more. Um, that may be enough with the little things included. I'm not sure, although I wouldn't really have an issue pulling in from another kit. And I think this is, yeah, this is the last page of this kit. So this is pretty much all you get. We have some deco. So our kits don't include a ton of deco, but you get some, which I think is fine. Um, then these you could put like in the, in the top of the date covers if you need to, because I like a lot of tiny deco to do that with. And then this, I may do some of those up there if I have room. But I don't necessarily need a ton of deco, especially not big deco, so that is fine. We have some more flags up here and then a couple snowflakes. So this is like the glitter page. So that is the Pink Leaf Prince Frozen 2 kit. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but it is the Frozen 2 movie theme. Um, I don't remember if, I, if there's like different sizes of her kits, whether this is like the mini or the bigger one. Um, because it has this page, it feels like the bigger one, but it still feels like a really small kit, so I'm not entirely sure about that. But um, either way, I think it's going to work out for me really well, and I'm excited to use it to plan this current week that I'm planning. Um, so her kits are actually all packaged all together in one cello, so they're not separately celloed, which is fine because I have so many extra cellos from other kits that I've used that I can easily put them into their own cellos. So I am going to separate out um, this kit from the third kit. I think I only got three kits from her. So this is a really pretty kit. It's like a baking kit, like kind of like baking cookies, but or also just baking in general. I love this kit so much. I don't think I've seen this art anywhere else. I don't remember if it's um, exclusive art to her that she drew, because I know she does that, but I think it is because I don't recognize this from any other kit. A lot of baking kits have the same kind of aesthetic to it. Like I have one from I think Simply a Mess that's like, it feels a lot like this kit, but the colors are like red and blue or they're like, they're a little different. But, um, but I think that's just baking in general. Like a lot of people's dream kitchens look the same. So there's a lot of marble going on and you're always gonna see a stand mixer, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but yeah, I really do. I love all those aesthetics. So um, I had to pick up this one. I do love baking. I bake probably more than I cook or at least cook new recipes. I mean, obviously I cook my own dinner every night um, and lunch and breakfast. But when I get creative in the kitchen, I'm usually baking. So it makes sense for me to stock up on baking kits. This one I could not resist because it is like pink and black and marble, which is really cool to me. I love that. Um, my actual kitchen color scheme or my dream kitchen color scheme would be gold and white but um, the main important thing to me is that there's a lot of white in the background with some accent color so I'm perfectly fine with it being pink and black. Black, white, and pink is also a really good color scheme so I'm in love with this. I love this like coat box up here, life is short, like the spoon. I love how it looks like it could just be a sign in a kitchen so it's not even like an obvious coat box. It could just be like part of, you know, part of the kitchen scene, but obviously I am going to use it as a cool box. Then we have the fashion girl, the kitchen scene here, which I super duper love. Love this so much with the marble countertop, the little chandeliers, so detailed. Obviously the flat lay with the cookies and the milk and cookies and the spatula with the batter on it. Cause you know, we always got to lick the spoon or the spatula. I love pantry scenes. There's the girl again, love it. And the KitchenAid stand mixer, of course, for all the baking I do, I think it's really funny that the KitchenAid stand mixer is the one appliance I don't have. I have literally every other appliance. I have a blender, a food processor, an instant pot, just anything you can think of. I have a spice grinder for heaven's sake, but I do not have, I don't, actually don't own any mixers. I don't have a hand mixer either. Cause I, you know, my goal is to get a stand mixer and I don't want to like waste time getting a hand mixer, but honestly, I think it's really funny. One day I'll get one. 
So after that lengthy description of the fall boxes, I'm just gonna go through the rest of this kit. Usually I wouldn't go over the layout um, of all the kits from one shop because they're all gonna be the same typically. But um, since these are not in their cellos, the most annoying part for me is taking them out of their cellos. So if they're not in their cellos already, then I just, you know, I don't care. I'm just gonna go through it anyway because it's easy. So I am just gonna do a quick comparison of this kit to this kit. So we have, um, we have all half boxes on this page. So the format is definitely very different. So I'm curious whether this is like the size of the kit or whether it's just a newer versus older kit because I think this is an older kit um, compared to that. And then that box looks like it hasn't changed. The sidebar tracker that I use for meals. Um, habit trackers I think are the same but then the bill dues are also very different. I like that style a little better, but it doesn't matter because I don't use bill dues in my weeklies. So that is fine. So that's the second page. And then this page. So yeah, she um, puts her icons and we can banner on the same page here. We have a ton of these checklists here, which is good for white space planning. Um, headers right here, the same as the other ones. Again, the cut lines are a little bit close at the top. That is okay since I don't use those. All right, this is definitely an older style of little thing and the cut lines are way off. So that's what you're getting with the little thing. So that it looks like the cut lines around these are only slightly off, but then as you get further down the page, they just completely ruin themselves. So that is okay. I think what I may do with this kit is use, um, is use white space planning instead of some white space because I think the lack of quarter boxes and usable little things would just completely prevent me from doing that, which is fine. Um, I still like white space planning and it's a lot easier to think about when planning instead of some white space. And then this last page has your bottom washi, a bunch of quarter boxes that are glittery and then some extra glitter headers. So this kit, I did get the glitter header add on right here and then it looks like, for some reason, was this the deco add-on? I don't remember how she does her add-ons necessarily. I keep confusing pink leaf prints with paper candy art. Um, but I guess there was an add-on for date covers. Oh, because date covers weren't included in the original kit. That's why. I didn't even notice that. But yeah, so I did want the date covers and the deco. So that was on a completely different sheet along with the page flags right here. So I had to get that, and then the extra full boxes I had to get as well. So um, this is kind of like the kid version. So there's like an adult size oven mitt and a kid oven mitt, and a little girl who's so pretty with her little chef's hat. I think I got the skin color kind of to match that. I think there were options though. Um, baked with love, so that's another kind of coat box thing. And then dipping the cookies in the milk very cute. So a lot of extra options with that kit. I am a little disappointed in the cut lines, but like I'm not going to make a big deal about it or contact the seller because she already did something super generous for me, which I'm going to show you right now. So the third kit I got from Pink Leaf Prints is the buttons kit. You may have heard me talk about this a ton in previous videos because Lately I've been doing a lot of like Halloween type hauls and um, talking about all my favorite Halloween movies and stuff and all the kits I got for those. And I keep lamenting in pretty much every single one how there's like no Coraline kits. This may be the only one that I've seen. I don't think Keytown has one. I don't, if, if anybody else does, it would be him. But um, I'm pretty sure this is the only one I've seen. And I love this kit so much. She actually drew this herself. So it's completely unique art. And she did have this up only for Halloween and then it retired after that. I did not get it in time. Um, and I was kicking myself about that for, you know, months, honestly. You've heard me talk about that in all my previous hauls. Um, I was really mad about that because I, I had a feeling it would not be coming back and I actually messaged her and asked about that and she said yeah it probably would not be coming back but um 
but if I wanted to, I could just purchase, an, uh, purchase another kit and all the extras I wanted for that, and she would just switch it out for this kit, which is called Buttons, if I wanted to. Um, and so I did that, and I'm really pleased that she actually had another kit to send me or printed another kit. I'm not sure, but I'm really grateful that she did that because I would have beaten myself up forever if I did not have a Coraline kit, and especially not one as beautiful as this one. So I don't know if she's going to do that for everybody. Um, I would say go ahead and ask her if you miss out on the kit and you want to um, and you want to get a previous one. Just ask her before you like leave a note in the orders order notes section. Um, but yeah, I love it when shop owners do this. It's super generous and I am just so in love with this kit. So this is the Coraline kit called Buttons and obviously we have Coraline there. The other mother, which is, she's just so gorgeous there. Um, and then the cat whose name I still don't remember from every single other sheet that I've gotten with this cat. You'll always hear me saying I don't remember his name, which is really sad because I've watched so many theory videos on Coraline. I should remember the cat's name. I do not. I'll look it up later. Then there's the button eyes that she gets as a gift from the other mother. Um, here's all the, what are they called? Are they called eyes or something? I think so. That she had to like return to the ghost kids or something so they could pass on the yellow rain boots, classic, the welcome home cake, and then the key and the creepy little portal there. I love this so much. I am going to go ahead and show you the um, extra boxes right now while we're on the subject of the boxes. So here's the four extra boxes that you get. Um, here is the portal in its original form before it gets all creepy. Here's kind of a fashion girl inspired by Coraline instead of like actually Coraline. So she obviously looks older. Um, then here we have the door and the key and then the cat with the button moon. That looks very cool. I love all of this. Um, and then the glitter headers with that I also got. So let me go through the rest of the kit. Oh, I love this so much. I'm so glad I'm holding this in my hands. So here's this page with all the elements I've shown you before. It looks like it's the same format as the frozen kit. So the baking kit must be really old. I don't remember the name of the baking kit, sorry. Yeah, and this page is the same. This page with little things that are slightly better cut. But the top is definitely cut off. So that's what you're getting with that, which is still usable to me. But, um, you know, definitely could be better cut. Here we have the bottom washi, which is the same pattern as the button box right here and black glitter headers. And then the deco, the date covers and all the extra boxes on there. So I am so excited and happy that she allowed me to get this kit because I, that's literally, that would literally be my biggest regret in the planner world forever if I did not manage to get that kit somehow. I actually didn't even go order, go over the freebies with this kit, so um, I am going to show you those right now. So this is her, I guess, Christmas themed freebie, which is on matte paper. I did get all the kits in glossy, but I think she offered matte as an option and her freebie is in matte. So. We have a quote from Elf, which is really funny. And all these lovely, they're really pretty, um, kind of Christmas things. So you have your shopping bags, groceries, a couple or a few peppermint bows, um, like Christmas movie watching, balloons, present, I guess like a happy mailbox, laundry. That's a pretty laundry basket. You never see that. Um, a candle, less Monday, more coffee. Um, and another coffee thing a nail polish bottle, and then a bunch of scripts right there that kind of, I guess, go together. So wrap gifts could go with that. Um, I don't think payday would go with anything. Delivery could go with that. But yeah, very nice, generous, big freebie. And then I also got a scratch card because I ordered this for Black Friday. So um, I guess she was offering these little scratch cards. I think it might have been a random orders. I don't think it was in every order. I'm not entirely sure. I am scratching this off screen because I think there's going to be like some kind of code on here that is obviously exclusive to me. 
and I can't show you. So yeah, it looks like this is a super generous coupon code that lasts until the end of this year. It is for 30% off, which is very nice, and it expires on January 1st. So I will have to use it pretty fast if I want to use it. I think I may. I may just get like one kit or something with it. I'm pretty sure there was stuff from her shop that I didn't get that I wanted. Maybe. Anyway, that's super generous. And I'm thankful for that as well. So that is Pink Leaf Prints. Now let's get into the next shop. Next is a tiny order from Magnolia Boulevard. This is just one kit. Look at that pretty sticker on the packaging. I love that so much. That's Gorge. Anyway, it's a really interesting way to do it. She just got really big cells and just folded them over. So this is a Nutcracker kit. Um, I actually did manage to get my hands on the Skill War Prince Co. version, which is really light themed. But there were a ton of other kits on Etsy that were like darker themed. I think Skill War Prince Co. was like the only one who did the really light theme. And I wanted both versions. So the one I liked best was this one from Magnolia Boulevard on Etsy. This is, I think, matte paper feels really nice so it may be premium matte I don't exactly remember but just look at this like how gorgeous it is we have the nutcracker and well I guess there isn't really a nutcracker in there but it's him right there um, and then the girl and then the mouse king obviously and all the other kind of Christmas winter elements it is so gorgeous I love both color schemes. And then we have these really pretty check boxes. I'm almost sad I don't use them because I love the snowflakes in them. Then we have deco, some half boxes, and checklists. This is a really gorgeous kit. Just all of this is put together really well. Oh, and that weekend banner is gorgeous too. And the date covers, some icons, and two sidebar trackers, and some giant flags right there. Oh, look at those pretty habit trackers. I love those and little things and headers so you get everything and you'd even get a dinner's header so i will be making great use of this and look at all this washi you get these are going to be good for like little things if you want to do some white space planning you get a kind of squared off half box right there um so you do get a lot of boxes but I don't think you get a ton of quarter boxes. But look at this bottom washi, that is also very pretty. You get some quarter boxes here. Six is actually kind of nice. Um, ooh, those day off banners are really pretty. I might use those. It'd be a great way to mark days off. Put those over a half or a full box. Some checklists and then glitter headers built into the kit. So this kit has pretty much everything you need. This Maybe like an ultimate, I think, because it does contain pretty much every, every element you could possibly want in a kit. Yeah, there is Deco. So, yeah, there is everything in here. So, I may have gotten the ultimate, but this is just so pretty. Yeah, I'm actually going to highly recommend Magnolia Boulevard, just based on the layout of this kit. I think the pricing was pretty decent, too. Um, if I recall, I think it was normally $24 for an ultimate, but I got it on whatever Black Friday sale she was having, so I think I got it for 18, which is really nice. Um, however, I think the one thing I'm gonna point out is that there are, in fact, only eight full boxes. There's not a ninth or 10th full box anywhere else in this kit. So that is like the one thing that's missing, but again, it's not super necessary. Um, and then she sent me a bunch of samplers from other shops, which is really nice. Um, one of them does have a coupon code that I'm sure I just told you or just showed you rather by accident um, so this is temple of crafts or temp loves crafts never heard of that shop but these are really cute hand they're definitely hand-drawn um, illustrations this definitely looks like the level of something that I would do um, but I am gonna check out this shop because these all look really cute and really detailed. I love that style. It's one of my favorite styles. This one is Imagine That by Lori, I'm guessing. 
Um, so we have cute little snowman and Christmas tree with a half box with words already included, which is interesting. Or that's like a third box, and then that's a half box with the snowman. This is the Magnolia Boulevard freebie. So we get an extra full box right there, which is really pretty. A, an hourglass and a clock inside something else. Date day, that's a really pretty script. Payday, and then a little arrow. And then, hmm, I'm guessing this is Kim Miss Studio. Interesting. K oh no, it's Kimmy's. Kimmy's Studio. I was going to say that's weird. Um, Kimmy's Studio right there. So here, a lot of really pretty watercolory type illustrations, some presents, some scripts and icons, and then a quarter box right there. So it's a very nice holiday themed sampler. So yeah, it's super generous for this tiny little order I got from Magnolia Boulevard. I can't wait to use that kit though. It is so gorgeous. Alrighty, I am going to do this tiny order. I think, yeah, we're transitioning from kits to character stickers for a little bit. Whoopsie, did I just show my address on screen? Oh well, I usually try to block it off. Anyway, this was something I won from the Facebook group from Parasol Paper Co. It's funny, I've, won, I've only entered two giveaways from her and I've won both giveaways that I've entered from Parasol Paper Co., which is really hilarious. Obviously, the, the fates are on my side for winning their giveaways. Um, I just wanted to show you this really cute washi that she put on the envelope. That's Gorge, so putting that off to the side. Um, this really pretty silver foiled card, which left me a nice note. So what this giveaway was for was a bunch of I guess underperforming characters in her shop that like weren't getting enough love or something. I don't even know if they're in the shop or not, or if they like were at one point but just didn't perform well, so they were not anymore. I don't know. I might have to check that out because um, one of these characters, Mochi the cat, was like the prettiest cat I've ever seen. Of course, I say that about like every cat, but um, I just loved it so much that I might just have to check it out to see if there's more Mochi the Cat stickers in her shop because, or in their shop because I just love her so much. So I guess the line is Pandy and Friends. So Pandy was the main character and then there was a bunch of others including Mochi the Cat, which I got to choose which character I wanted all the stickers of in this little charm. So I did. Look at that, she's so cute. So that's a really pretty little planner charm with silver hardware right there. That's gorgeous, and I got a, a, a few sticker sheets too. So this is Mochi Planning. Look at her, she's such a pretty cat. She reminds me of Marie from the Aristocats, which is like my ultimate favorite type of cat, I guess, just a white cat with a little pink bow. Um, although maybe Mar Marie had a blue bow, I'm not sure. Anyway, um, this is Mochi in a roll of washi, which is really funny. At least I'm assuming that's what that is. It looks like that's what that is. Um, I am guessing this is like nap time because she's leaning against the pillow. This is witch mochi, which is hilarious and cute. It'd be good to mark watching witch shows or movies. Um, and then this is like party time mochi, the little party cat. So these are all really adorable. Nice sized sheets. So I can't wait to use these. And Thank you again for this awesome giveaway. I totally never expect to win giveaways, so it's really nice when I do. Alrighty. So what else do we got? We got a lot going on. So let's do Pumpkin Paper Co. next. It's been a while since I've placed an order from Pumpkin Paper Co. It's been a long while. Um, I think these are matte, so I am going to turn on my light because it's getting a little bit darker in here. And there's not going to be any glare if it's matte paper. So she actually changed the paper for, um, for this card, which is interesting. It used to be on a lot thicker paper. I'm trying to like find an example, but um, it must be in, must be over here. 
Will I be able to find it within a few seconds before you get bored of this and turn this off? Yes, I am. So this is what it previously was. So this was really thick paper. I don't know why this matters to you at all. I don't know why I spent so much time trying to find this, but I think it's interesting when a shop changes up their packaging. So this is what it used to be before, and this is what it is now. So it's basically the same wording. It's very similar wording. Um, and she still continues to write your name at the top, which is really nice, and I am going to keep that part. Um, I'm going to keep this because I just I keep everything that, you know, is a handwritten note from shops. Um, yeah, very similar, except she includes a whole Terra instead of just the Terra head and nice center paper, which is, I'm sure, cheaper for her. So that is the little note that comes with it. And then... Oh, that's kind of a hefty order. Well, I hadn't placed an order from her in ages, so that's why. And then you get this postcard as well, which is candy corn, candy corn themed Tara. So it's an actual postcard instead of a journaling card. You could use it as both. I may actually use it as a postcard someday. We will see. And then this is the freebie that you get. So this is a Christmas themed freebie. So you have the little Christmas tree, which would probably be good to use as like a Christmas cookie. It looks very cookie like. Um, her with a blanket, tarot with the string of lights, a little Grinch had a zebra for some crazy reason, a star, and then tarot with a present. I have no idea what the zebra is on this sampler for, but I, I haven't seen a zebra sticker anywhere else, so when I need a zebra, I have one. It's so funny. So I actually went through when I only looked at her holiday sections, like her fall, Halloween, and um, Christmas sections for sheets that I did not have and wanted. I didn't go through her normal stickers um, because I know I could get those pretty much at every any time and I knew that there would be a ton more there and I wanted to keep this as a kind of smaller order. Um, so this is fall themed I think. So this is just like fall or Halloween movie watching or TV watching. So you've got Tara in her blankets with different patterns on them. So that one I think is ghosts. Pumpkins, candy corn, and just like polka dots, and then skulls over here. So, yeah, and then they just kind of repeat a little bit. So those are very cute. Then this one is, I think, just the Halloween movie sampler, if I'm not mistaken. I t actually know this isn't any generic Halloween movie sampler. This is a Beetlejuice sheet. This is the smaller size. Beetlejuice characters. I haven't seen Beetlejuice in the longest time. I didn't even watch it this year for Halloween, so I'm probably going to do that next year. I do have a kit from, I think, Simply a Mess that I mean to use when I watch that next. But now I also have these little deco stickers, so I know that's Beetlejuice and Lydia. Then all the other crazy characters I really don't know. Obviously, some of them repeat, or they all repeat at some point. But um, yeah, so that's, I think that's all the characters you get, and then they repeat. But yeah. Those are very cute. And then here we have little ghost girls. She's obviously a ghost because she can see she's hovering off the ground. She's got a shadow. Like how pale they are and how pretty they are in their little nightgowns. So just anytime you would need a ghost sticker. Cause like I don't, you know, I don't think I've seen any other ghost stickers that are not just like your classic, you know, person in a sheet kind of ghost. So I like the more realistic style ghosts. So this would be very cool. For like watching any you know any ghost movie or anything like that super into that idea probably a lot of horror movies would be good to use that for then this is i think just generic halloween costumes i got this just in case one of these things would come in handy at any other time so we have a girl wearing a pumpkin that you know pretty much would be only for halloween but the girl in jail you know that could have more uses and ideally i won't be using it for me going to jail but um you know, just, you know, watching a movie about somebody in jail, like, I don't know, Shawshank Redemption or something. And then a little hippie girl, same sort of thing. Girl in a shark onesie. A cheerleader girl. That could be used for a lot of, like, teen movies, like Disney Channel stuff. I don't know. And then it repeats. So these are really cute. I did get these in blonde while my other girls are all in black hair. Because I just, you know, these weren't intended to represent me at all. These were intended to represent just generic people, and I think I usually go with blonde for that. And then here we have the Adams Family sheet. This is an old type of sticker, I think that's why they still have their little stick arms and legs. 
again, I haven't really watched anything The Addams Family, but I know that I would love it, so I, you know, have to get the stickers just in case. So we Okay, so this next sheet is a books sheet. I think this is supposed to be just Halloween books, actually. So we do have Harry Potter in there for some reason. I wouldn't really consider it a Halloween book, but I guess if you are having a sheet of books, no matter what the subject, you've got to include Harry Potter. Um, this one, I actually don't know what it is, although I feel like I should. So if you know what this is supposed to be, please let me know down below. Um, this is, I think, the book from Hocus Pocus, if I'm not mistaken. You all know I'm not a fan, but I'm pretty sure that's it. And then these are all just generic books. So that's really cool. This could be used to mark reading during fall or October or Halloween or something like that. These are kind of big. Um, so these would be better used for like a whole reading session that would take up maybe a half box instead of like a quarter box or something similar. But you could do what Andrea does and just cut it in half and use the top half and then the bottom half on another sticker. So it's kind of a cool type of sticker that you can pretty easily do that. So that's that. I don't know why I'm putting these on the bottom. Um, and then this one is the Corpse Bride. I do love the Corpse Bride. There are very few Corpse Bride stickers out there. There is a kit from Keytown that I hauled in, I think a couple hauls ago. Um, but these are some character stickers for that too, which are pretty unusual. So we have obviously her and then the guy. I don't remember their names. I feel really bad for owning that. Pretty sure that's Victor, but I don't know her name. Anyway, this is obviously Pumpkin Paper Coast old style with the little stick arms, but they're still really cute. And this one is like cozy reading. I think it's the fall color scheme. I'm not entirely sure, but it's just like curled up with a blanket and a book and then a little cat, which is just super sweet. So you get plenty of those. Her stickers are all kind of big, even the smaller versions. So just kind of be aware of that. Um, and then this one's just so funny. I had, this is a newer sheet. I had to get this one because of her expression. She's like reaching into a cookie jar, but she like looks like a maniac. And that is me whenever there is like food anywhere, especially like if it's free food. This is so funny. Like this honestly has been me so far in December eating cookies. I made um, a gingerbread house and I've just been eating the gingerbread like to the point where I get sick because I have no self-control. So this is me. <laughs> I had to get that. And then there are a few sheets in here. I haven't organized these, but there are a few sheets in here that are kind of like doll versions of movie characters. There's a couple, so I'm going to put those together. Um, oh, I guess there's three. All right, so there's three. So one of these is Halloween and the rest are Christmas. I think she did organize these by um, holiday. But here's the Halloween ones. So this is like the Night Before Christmas doll version. These are really tall. So just kind of be aware of that. Um, I think she does mention that they're tall like in the title or the description. So it won't really catch you off guard. But these are definitely probably more half box size than quarter box unless you want to cut them in half. So we have Oogie Boogie, Sally, Jack, the mayor, and then they all repeat they are really cute as kind of like dolls as opposed to super realistic characters. And then the other two ones we have in that style are the Night or sorry, the Grinch. We have the Grinch sheet. So there's a little mm, Cindy, Cindy Lou Who. And then the Grinch, obviously a stack of presents and then Max the dog. Really cute really cute because I don't have mouths. Um, and then here is the elf sheet. So we have Santa, um, Buddy, and then I don't remember her name, but she's the love interest. And then a little Christmas tree. So that's really cute as well. And now going back into Halloween type stuff, we have these giant mugs. These are a lot bigger than I was expecting. So it's going to be kind of hard to work this into like a quarter box or even a half box because of the shape, but um, it can be done. But this is just like Halloween mugs. Some of these are like not super Halloween, like the polka dots and the little dog, but um, the others are obviously more Halloween-y themed, the little ghost right there. 
jack-o-lantern in two different colors. Yeah, that one's another generic one. Then you get Hocus Pocus, Candy Corn, and another color of Hocus Pocus. So you do get quite the variety in here with these rather large mugs. This one is um, working on a computer in fall. I may already have this. I don't think I do, but it's possible that I do. Um, it looks very familiar anyway. So she's got her little laptop with the pumpkin on it instead of like the apple. And then um, just like planning stuff next to it there and a planner there. So that's really fun. So it's like working, but could also be like planning related stuff. So it's kind of cool because of that. Um, here's another one where I got blonde hair because I wanted it to be um, used for other things not meant to represent me. So this is like another Halloween costume type sheet. Um, so we have this girl who's supposed to be Alice in Wonderland. I think I mainly got this in blonde because both she and Tinkerbell are actually blonde. So like I had to do that. Um, so yeah, obviously that's Tinkerbell too. She looks really cute right there. And then we have an astronaut, which would be good for a lot of really cool space movies. Um, and the pirate, which could be used for any cool pirate movies like Pirates of the Caribbean, which is my favorite thing in the world. So obviously that, I love the Tinkerbell movies too. Obviously Alice in Wonderland is my favorite movie to ever exist. So those I will definitely get a lot of use out of. Then this little girl who's supposed to be a reindeer, which is really cute. That could be used for just like anything Christmas. And then the girl in the kind of 50s poodle skirt type thing. That would be good for watching really old movies like I think Grease, um, what was it called? Um, Footloose. I think I've really enjoyed that one. I don't remember if I've seen Grease, but I loved Footloose. So that would be great for that. And yeah, and then they repeat after that. Um, here we have Edward Scissorhands. Again, another really kind of underrepresented movie in the planning community. Um, Keytown is the only shop that I've seen that has a kit for Edward Scissorhands. I did pick it up and haul it recently, but these are character stickers to go with that. So we have Edward, the girl, don't remember her name. I'm really bad with remembering love interests' names in movies like these. Um, then you have the topiary dinosaur, and then I guess that's some kind of robot. I don't remember that at all from the movie. But it is a very beautiful movie. It's not my favorite Johnny Depp movie, but I love it. And and you just needed stickers to represent that. So here we have um, fall baking or like just fall foods and drinks kind of thing. I mainly got this sheet for the candy or caramel apples right here because I don't have enough caramel apple stickers and I love caramel apples. I actually have one that I want to eat today, but I have to eat the gingerbread cookies first. So. I will eventually get to that. Um, and then we have sipping tea, we have pumpkin pie. I really do not like pumpkin pie. I also got this sheet for the s'mores because I have very few s'mores stickers. I actually have drawn both s'mores and caramel apples on my own fall doodle sampler sheet in my shop if you want to get that. Um, but like I said, those are like the only two, like the or that's like the only shop that I have um, caramel apples and s'mores stickers from already is my own shop. So I wanted to get them from at least one other shop. And then there's um, pie right there. I, th I think that could be like apple pie, which is really good because I love apple pie. Do not like pumpkin pie. So that's kind of what that is for. That's also old style stick legs and arms. This is new style, obviously. So this is holiday like online shopping, which is great because it's some of it could be just generic online shopping, but there's um, like lots of hoodies in Christmas colors and that could be the good Christmas present right there in the cart but um, there's Amazon right there there's shoe shopping right there so there's all kinds of different stuff on the screens so this is really fun like all the day online shopping just generic online shopping and then here we have little gingerbread cookies I just thought these guys were so cute and y'all know I love gingerbread so I had to get one design that was just a cookie instead of like building a gingerbread house. Although I have only built a house this year and not made any cookies yet. Yet, I will. Can't not do it. So that is my little order from Pumpkin Paper Co. It's not really that little, it's kind of a medium sized order. But yeah, I'm really pleased to get another order from her shop since it's been a really long time. Alrighty. Um, moving on. Actually, you know what? 
it is about an hour and 10 minutes into this haul, I think, and I am actually going to cut it short right here because I, I don't want it to be too, too long. And if I start doing another shop, I'm gonna risk getting into the too long territory. So I'm just gonna cut it short right here. Thank you so much for watching this haul. All of all of this rest of this um, these orders are gonna be in the next one, so stay tuned for that. That should go up pretty soon too. And yeah, thanks again for watching. If you wanna like, comment, subscribe, and share, that would be amazing. And stay tuned for the next video. Ciao.